In this life, strength isn't in the size of your muscles or the volume of your voice. True strength, unbreakable, undeniable strength, radiates from within. It's not the biggest body in the room, but the strongest spirit. And if you're a chosen one, you already know. People can feel that strength in you before you say a word. You see, there's something about having an iron mentality that sets you apart. It's not for show and it's not given. It's earned in the fires of challenge and adversity. Iron is forged in flames, and so are the chosen. When you walk into a room, the weak may feel uneasy. They sense a strength they can't break, a fire they can't put out. It's not something you learn in books or acquire overnight. It's born from enduring storms, standing against trials, and facing down enemies with a mind that won't bend. Adversity is the flame that purifies. It's the weight that builds muscle in the spirit. And for the chosen, when life presses hard, we only press harder. It doesn't matter how dark the path, how fierce the storms, we learn to stand tall. We become a fortress of resolve, immovable, guided by a light that does not waver. This life is not a playground, it's a battleground. And in this war of the soul, only those who endure, who hold fast to their purpose, rise to their full potential. In every family, people know who holds that strength, the quiet power that commands respect. It's not about size, nor brute force. It's about wisdom, resilience, and faith. They know who the true anchor is, the one who doesn't need to shout but leads by example. The Chosen One's authority is not in loud words or imposing figures. It's in an unshakable spirit that can bear the weight of the world without bending. Yes, enemies will come. Hyenas nipping at a lion thinking they've got a shot. But let's get this clear. Chosen Ones, you are like lions in this world. You're not the biggest creature in the jungle, but you carry the fiercest mindset. And it's that mindset that separates you from the rest. You don't need to be the loudest, and you don't need to announce your strength. They feel it. God watches for those who stand firm, who hold their ground, who don't crumble under pressure. And if you've got that iron mentality, you've caught his eye. You've been chosen because you don't give in, you don't back down, and when the heat turns up, you only get stronger. But know this, as soon as God notices you, Satan takes note too. The second you step into that strength, every dark force in this world will look for a way to pull you down. But here's the truth, you're not easily broken. Chosen ones, God built you with resilience. Your mind is fortified. Every setback has only deepened your strength. When life threw its worst at you, you took it and kept moving forward. When enemies tried to shake you, you didn't flinch. That's the iron mentality God seeks in his warriors. People may think the lion is the biggest, but it's not. The lion's power isn't in its size, it's in its mind. The lion knows who it is, and it doesn't need anyone's validation to prove it. That's why it's the king. And chosen ones, you may not be the king of kings. That title is reserved for the one who reigns in heaven. But he needs warriors like you beside him. He needs resilience in his kingdom, and he's called you to carry that strength here on earth. This strength, it's not just for your battles, it's a beacon. When you hold firm, others see it. They see a strength that can't be bought, can't be faked. People respect it, even if they don't understand it. And your enemies? They fear it. They don't know why, but they can feel it too. 
the hyenas of this world, the ones who try to tear you down. They sense they're up against something they can't handle. It's that resilience, that unshakable presence that makes them hesitate. They don't understand it, but they can't ignore it. But know this. The second you stand firm, Satan will try to break you. The devil doesn't waste his time on the weak. He goes for those who show strength, who stand apart, who rise above. But the iron mentality, chosen ones, isn't easily swayed. God made you to withstand the fire. When Satan tests you, it only serves to make you stronger, to deepen your resolve. So what does it take to have this iron mentality? It takes losing, again and again, and rising up every time. It takes facing down challenges, feeling the fear, and doing it anyway. It's about carrying a mind that doesn't bow to pressure, that doesn't retreat in the face of struggle. And as you stand firm, know that God himself is watching. He notices those who refuse to fold. When you endure, when you keep fighting, you're sending a message to the heavens. I am here, unbreakable and steadfast. Sometimes, there's no one in your corner. The room is empty, the phone is silent, and the only voice you hear is your own. But it's in those moments that your iron mentality shines. Even if there's not a single person clapping, you keep moving forward. And when the voices of doubt grow louder, remember that God's approval is louder than any earthly applause. Chosen ones, know this one thing. The same second God notices you, Satan notices you too. There's no time to bask in the light of being chosen, no moment to pause. The second God's eyes are upon you, every force of darkness feels it too. That iron mentality that you carry, it's something to be feared, but not by you. When you're standing in the darkness, your resilience, your strength, it radiates and that light shakes the shadows. It sends out a message that echoes into realms unseen, a message that says, this one is strong, this one won't be easily broken. And so they'll come. Satan will send obstacles that look like friends, allies who act like enemies. Some will be people you trust, some will be doubts from within, and others will be the weight of solitude itself. If you're standing tall in faith, you'll face attacks that aren't just visible, they'll come from places that feel like they're part of you. But this iron mentality you carry, it's built to endure. You'll stand face to face with those who laugh at your dreams, who question your every move, who whisper behind your back because they can't fathom what drives you. These are the hyenas circling the lion, thinking they have the strength to take down what they can't understand. Satan knows that if he can wear down your spirit, make you question yourself, then maybe, just maybe, he can dim the light God has placed in you. But remember, the lion's strength isn't in its size, but in its heart. Now let's talk about the obstacles. They're not just there to trip you up. They're calculated. Satan studies you, your strengths, your weaknesses. He knows what buttons to press, what lies to whisper. He'll send challenges that make you question your worth. Sometimes, it's the weight of loneliness, of feeling like there isn't a single person in your corner. And sometimes there's just one person who believes in you, whose faith fuels your journey. But there will be seasons when you walk alone, and in those moments, you must dig deep and find the belief that lives within you. Because here's the truth. 
even if no one believes in you, you believe in you. Even when it's silent, when you're walking through darkness, you stand firm. And if you've got an iron mentality, if your faith is unbreakable, you'll know that you're not alone. God is there every step of the way. He's your celestial coach, your divine trainer, the Father who sees every ounce of strength in you. And like any wise teacher, sometimes he stands back to watch. Because in the hardest of times, that's when you grow. When you're learning, the teacher observes. It's not up to you to question the method, but to trust the path. It's not your place to question why the obstacles keep coming or why the support seems thin. Your task is to deliver, to rise each day and say, here I am, still standing. And that's where Satan will make his mistake, thinking he can tear down what God has built. Satan will send people who doubt you, who say you're wasting your time. He'll send situations that feel impossible, days that are heavy with doubt, and nights where silence echoes. He'll bring up every failure, every insecurity, hoping you'll break. But chosen ones, you know better. You know that even if the world doesn't see your worth, God does. And if He is training you, there's a purpose. But let's be clear, you're not standing for the applause, not for the approval of people who can't see the battles you face. You stand to prove that what God has placed in you is greater than any force that stands against you. For every person who didn't believe in you, there's someone who does. And for every doubter, there's a purpose in God's plan that justifies every ounce of effort, every drop of sweat. When Satan notices you, he tries to distract you to pull you off the path. He'll make it seem like everyone else has it easier, like your struggles are for nothing. He'll make you question why you're the one bearing this weight. But that iron mentality isn't about having an easy path. It's about standing strong no matter the terrain. It's about waking up each day with the determination to keep going. Even when you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, when the obstacles seem endless, when the nights are long and the days feel heavy, remember who your trainer is. God himself is shaping you, refining you, and preparing you. This isn't a random journey, it's intentional. Every challenge, every setback is crafted with purpose. You're not just fighting for survival, you're fighting to fulfill a destiny. And don't think Satan will stop. The more you grow, the more he will try to break you. But let him come. Let him bring the storms, the doubts, the fears, the loneliness. For every challenge he throws, you have a strength that surpasses his greatest schemes. And when the world sees you standing, unmoved, unbroken, they'll know that your strength isn't from this earth. They'll know you are chosen. So, chosen ones, stand firm. Let them see your iron mentality. Let those who doubted you witness your resilience. Let those who love you feel inspired by your strength. Show them all what it means to be unbreakable, to be a light in the darkness, to be someone who cannot be defeated. Because this is who you are, not by your own power, but by the strength of the one who stands with you. And as you continue on this path, hold this truth close. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. The storms will come, the obstacles will rise, and the enemies will circle. But you will not fall, because the foundation you stand on is unshakable. It is the strength of the one who chose you, the wisdom of the one who trains you, and the love of the one who watches over you. So keep going, keep fighting, keep believing. 
Your journey is a testament to God's work, a beacon of hope for those who need to see resilience in action. And when the final day comes, when you stand before your Creator, He will look upon you and say, Well done, my faithful servant. Amen.